Good girl. Hi everyone, my name is Kaylin and this is Luna, okay. and today we're gonna show you some of Luna's tricks. Okay. My husband and I adopted Luna in April of 2020. She had been abandoned at a vet's office in Kentucky and brought to a foster home. We fell in love instantly because she is the snuggliest, sweetest dog you will ever meet. Luna is a chihuahua and pit bull mix. Not too long after I adopted Luna, I began to teach her tricks. It was at the beginning of the pandemic and as a teacher, I was home a lot more. So I had a lot of time on my hands and I was amazed at how quickly she began to catch on to things, even some more advanced tricks. So now she's learned over 100 tricks we even started training in a couple of different sports like agility and competing in those, and she has loved every minute of it. Yes! I train Luna using positive reinforcement, which means that I focus on rewarding her for doing the correct behavior rather than punishing her for doing the wrong thing. A lot of the treats that we use are freeze-dried meat. They're really small and really low calorie, which works well to keep Luna from getting overweight and make sure that she stays healthy. In fall of 2020, I started an Instagram for Luna called Luna the Trick Dog. At first, it was really just for my friends and family. I would share cute pictures of her, videos of her doing her tricks. So our following has grown and it's become a community that I really, really enjoy. And I can't wait to show you what this little rescue pup can do. Burrito. One of my favorite tricks that Luna knows is burrito, where she wraps herself up in a blanket. And it actually didn't take her too long to learn because she already knew the two pieces that go into it. So first, she already knew how to hold something in her mouth. And second, she knew how to roll over. Burrito is really just combining those two tricks. Good job. One trick that I really love to do with Luna is called backpack. And in this trick, Luna just jumps up from the ground onto my back. And she kind of started on her own laying down or crouching down on my back when she does this trick. So oftentimes it really does end up looking like she's a little backpack. A really crowd pleasing trick that Luna knows is how to ride a skateboard. I taught her first how to be comfortable with the skateboard moving to know that it wasn't anything scary. And then I taught her how to stand on it with three legs on the skateboard and one leg on the ground. And once she caught on to that, I started to use a treat to lure her to move forward. And before too long, she was pushing off with that leg on the ground and actually riding her skateboard. Good girl. Last summer, I taught Luna how to play basketball, where she puts a toy squeaky ball into a children's basketball hoop. First, I taught her how to target the hoop and put her face inside the hoop. Then I taught her how to pick up the ball and bring it to my hand. And then we combined those tricks. So she would pick up the ball and then put her face inside the hoop and drop it. It's become a really, really fun trick to do. All of us love to shop for our dogs, which is why I taught Luna to push a shopping cart so she could shop on her own. To teach her this trick, first I got her used to the shopping cart moving so that the sound and movement didn't scare her. We used lots of treats to teach her that the shopping cart meant treats. And then I held the shopping cart when she put her paws up on the handle and would slowly lure her forward while I held the shopping cart to make sure it didn't go too fast. Eventually I was able to let go of the shopping cart and she could put her paws up on it and push it on. One of the tricks that took Luna the longest to learn was Orbit, where she walks backwards in a circle around me. And at first I would make a barrier around myself in a circle so that as she was going around, she didn't go out of place. And eventually we got rid of those barriers and she caught onto that trick. One trick that took Luna a while to learn because it requires a lot of balance and strength is footstall, where I lie on my back with my feet up in the air and she jumped from the ground up onto my feet. When I practiced this trick, we always practiced on a very soft surface to make sure when Luna jumped off, she was safe. Another trick that I love to do with Luna is called footsies, where she goes between my two legs and puts her paws on my feet. And then as I walk, she walks with me. One trick that was always a dream of mine to teach Luna is handstand, where she backs up and puts her back paws on the wall in a handstand. Yes. Luna is my best friend, as cheesy as that sounds, and I love having a bond and a relationship with her that is closer than the bond I have with probably any other person. 